the Mets playoff game against the Brewers started off slow but ended jam-packed with excitement, leading to an amazing, amazing win. Fox Night Jennifer Williams is live at City Field. Jen, I mean, it was like fireworks here in the newsroom. I can only imagine how electric it was at the ballpark. Well, Natasha, I, to be honest with you, I, when it was scoreless in the seventh, I was in line getting up my $5 hot dog when the Brewers hit back-to-back -back home runs, and a fan said, I wasn't going to get a beer, but I need one now. Well, he should have gotten some popcorn because it, he was in for quite the show. I think it's going to be really loud and it's going to be really fun. With the Mets taking on the Brewers in Game 3 of their wild card series in Milwaukee, the club held an official watch party at City Field. It's magical. I'm very excited. Hopefully we could we could win this one. So amazing. We're so happy to be here. Let's go Mets. It was $10 to get in with all the proceeds going to charity and concessions like hot dogs were just $5. Fans also got to watch their amazons together on the biggest scoreboard in the bigs. It's awesome because, like, this is all we've been waiting for all season, and just, like, watching it at home doesn't, like, compare to, like, being here in person with other Mets fans. And, like, the atmosphere is it's awesome. I watched the last few games on my couch alone in the dark, so getting to be here surrounded by people who have been going through a season like this with us uh, is just incredible. Uh, we're on the edge of our seats. It's Win or go home. We've been here before. I think we're going to win. I hope we're going to win. Uh, let's go, Mets. The decisive winner take all game three, fitting considering the team's rough start and amazing turnaround. It's been a real roller coaster. It's been one of the most fun seasons of my life. It's been a whirlwind of emotions. I mean, I didn't. It, it, looked, it looked bleak. It looked, hor it looked horrible in May, but then somehow in June we, did, we came together and I said, I think we might sneak in the playoffs. And who knows where from there? We did it! I think the fans are a huge part of why we're doing so well now, and we're here. It's kind of like... Like a rally in the ninth that was started by a home run by P. Alonzo, the Mets take game three, 4-2, the final score to take the series. I've never felt City Field, Shea Stadium, or any other stadium as excited and hyped up as that finish had us. He got us back. Redemption, baby. Redemption. Let's, Let's go, go Mets. Oh, my well, God. Way. Oh, my God. Happy birthday, Joseph. We got the win. Now, since the new wildcard format was introduced in 2022, there have been 12 series. Only two went to a decisive Game 3. The Mets were part of both of those matchups. Tonight, they walked away with the series win. Next up for the Mets, they take on the Phillies in Philly for Game 1 of the NLDS. First pitch is Saturday at 4.08 p.m., and you can catch that game right here on Fox 5. Natasha and Steve, I'll send it back to you in studio. So good. Mets versus Philly. It doesn't get better than that. Good stuff. All right, thanks, Jen. And the Yankees begin their playoff run against the Kansas City Royals on Saturday. The Yanks haven't won a World Series since 2009, but fans believe this could be the year the team riding high going into the postseason. They're the best record in the American League, have great pitching staff, and, of course, have the two most prolific home run hitters in the league, Aaron Judge and Juan Soto. And to basketball now, Carl Anthony Towns is officially a Nick. The All-NBA center was traded from the Minnesota Timberwolves, but the mega deal was so complicated, they actually missed three practices while officials hammered out the details. Towns was drafted number one in 2015. The four-time All-Star is considered one of the best outside shooting big men in the league. And it's a bit of a homecoming for the seven-foot big man. Towns grew up in New Jersey rooting for the next seven foot. Yeah, there you go. Well, time is money, especially for busy parents. All right, that's given rise to a new generation of so-called Venmo moms who have money, but not time to donate to their kids' schools. We'll take a look at what local parents think. And Nick's here with a pretty nice forecast. Nick, there we are. See well, instead of putting in the hours, a new trend has moms doling out money to get out of school by volunteer requirements. So they're dubbed Venmo moms. Fox Life's Richard, Richard Giacoba has found out that people are pretty split on this idea. I don't want to be on PTO, PTA, room mom, team mom. I don't want to do any of that. Listen up, parents, especially moms. There's a new parenting term that has gone viral. I am a Venmo mom, so... 
That's Casey Neal, a self-proclaimed Venmo mom of four, who posted this TikTok video recently explaining that instead of volunteering and being that PTO mom at her kid's school, she'd much rather just send money to show support. I was starting to really get overwhelmed because every time I turn around, there was another email about an event that we needed to attend or a festival that was coming up or, you know, the holiday parties. Casey says it's not because she doesn't care. It's simply because she doesn't have the time. It came a point where I was like, the answer is no. Like, I can't do it. I can financially support you, but I just am not the mom that can be there. I have been this term long before it was an actual thing, and I think you fall in this category. It's called Venmo Moms. Well, since that video, it appears that there are plenty of other moms who can relate, even longtime teachers who may not be parents, but they get how time-consuming parenting can be. Dedicating the extra time to show up for the fundraiser or at the bake sale or whatever the thing may, might be can be difficult, so sometimes it is just easier to give the money. However, some moms see it differently, believing that showing up and being present is in fact most important. Uh, I think that there could be some uh, missing elements in that, like just values and morals. I'll see you at the competitions and the games, but I'm not hosting the party <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> so whether you're a Venmo parent or one who shows up for every school fair, it's your parenting journey, say experts. So do what's best for you and do what doesn't stress you out. Easier said than done. Richard Giacobis, Fox 5 News. I get it. Time is precious. Yeah, I is know tough. we're all busy, that's for sure. All right, no shame in that game. Let's go to Nick after a look at the forecast. We've got a nice little warm-up, which is going to feel good. I think it's going to feel good. In fact, we'll find temperatures in the upper 70s in places. A few may even hit that number tomorrow, and certainly a lot more will happen on Saturday. Somebody may even hit 80 degrees on Saturday. But we'll get back to October weather, don't you worry, in the not-too-distant future.